Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the git restore command. So git restore is good when you accidentally stage something and you don't want to commit the thing you just staged. Okay, so what does that mean concretely? So let's say I made a new file called unwanted. And I call it that because maybe it's a file that is not wanted. So let's say we do git add. Or actually, let's do git status to see what's happening, right? So we have unwanted.txt that was just created. And let's say um, we had another file called wanted.txt, right? OK, so we have two files now. Now if I do git status, we see that there's the unwanted and wanted. Now let's say I just carelessly did you know, git add dot. And now I have two file that is ready to be committed. So you're like, oh no, I accidentally added a file that I didn't want. How do I undo this? Okay, so that is where the git restore comes in. So if I do, let me clear this. If I do git restore, and then I have the dash dash staged, and I could type in the file that I want to restore. So it's the unwanted. So you could just type un tab and then it'll auto complete. So now if I do git status, notice that now the untracked file is the unwanted and the, the one that is tracked and ready to be committed is the wanted file. Okay, so that's what the git restore does. And I could also have done git restore dash dash staged and the dot that will just um, undo everything. So if I do git status, you'll see that both files got um, is now untracked. Okay, so typically the best way is just to you could either add it if you know you want everything, or just add the file that you want it like this. So now if I do git status, you see that I have the file that I want. Okay, so that's what the git restore does. It's very useful. Um, if you want to see this more visually, you could also go into Git extensions and you could, this is another way of doing it. So for example, if I do Git, um, let's, let's just undo everything again. And then let's say I added everything, right? So if I come here to my Git, if I go to commit, I could come here and unstage it. So in the GUI interface, you could do something like this. Sometimes it's helpful if you have a lot of stuff going on. But um, for me, I do most of it in command line right here. So that's, that's the way I prefer. Okay. So hopefully, you got a good understanding of how to use the restore command. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.